We've been doing projects for five years on this house and we're still going at it. So we are gonna show you what the nursery finally looks like. It's finally done, so let's go. In the office that was the office we we're turning it into a nursery while it's still kind of an office so I don't have like a before and after officially at least I don't think I do I might have some but we got a crib from my sister I think we're gonna redo this dresser but we got a crib for my sister that were is kind of like the color that we're going for so I'm hoping it works we're gonna try to set it up right now and see what it looks like fingers crossed because we don't want to buy a new crib what are you doing, Colby? She's like, what are you doing to my room, Mom? So we have a layout for this room. It got new carpet recently and then it was an office, so now it's gonna be baby girl's nursery. <laughs> Yikes! We oh, hit third yeah. trimester Look this weekend. I know, my goodness. We hit third trimester this weekend, so we're like, ah, we need to get this nursery going, and I have my first baby shower next week. So we'll need some room to start putting stuff. So that's what this weekend is going to be all about. <laughs> baby girl, you're getting huge in huge. there. Huge. Oh, what you doing? Sweet. Are you so confused? Yeah, She's like, I don't know what's going on. Taze is also really confused. Are you really confused, bud? <laughs> Buddy, look at me. One, two, three. Oh, I got that perfectly. Too funny. Again, we're new to this. <laughs> we'll learn. We'll probably start reading those baby books. <laughs> I have been reading the baby books. Have you really? I I sure. You're just saying that for the camera. I'm saying it for the camera. Yeah, what have you learned? Le bebe. It was awesome. That's what Rule you number learned. one. Oh my god. <laughs> we got some sample peel and stick wallpapers for this wall and I got three different ones from wall blush Connor's watching his hockey and we're gonna try them out so the first one is this one so they send you like this is what the full wall would look like or the full sheet but this is the sample size so then here's the sample there and then let's show you the other one this is the next one this is the sample 
this is the full wall terracotta bloom is this what that one's called and then this next one is a coral cascade and then there's the full wall i don't love like i really like this one but i don't love that it like repeats on there i don't know we're gonna try them out real quick So the top is the full, like what the full wall would be. And we have the one flipped upside down because I I put it up that way. And then these are just the pieces of it. See, I think I like the warmer color here, but I don't like how the pattern repeats, but it might be totally fine on this wall. Yeah, honey, I think I like the warmer one. The one on the left? Yeah. Okay, order it. <laughs> order it up, honey. We are finally doing an overhaul in here. We've done a couple things, like put together the crib, which you've seen, and moved some things around. But right now it's like half office, half nursery. So we ended up going with this because it was just a little bit more the color I wanted. It's called Coral Cascades from Wall Blush. I have a discount code actually, and I'll leave it down in the description. I'm really excited, hoping that this works because our wall's a little bit textured. We'll see. I'm hoping it turns out, so let's get to it. Hunter's watching golf, but we read the how-to on this. We watched all the how-to videos before doing this. Right now we're gonna clean the wall and then apply. Wax on. Wax on, wax off. Wax on. All right, let's do it. Kiss a little harder. a little bit and it works best on like very very lightly textured walls so we're gonna be pushing out some of the seams and stuff for a little while but let's hope it stays <laughs> i hope so because it's gonna be a lot of work if it doesn't work out i really wish i was recording because Connor just hit his hands on the fan please <laughs> Oh goodness. Okay, we ready? Sure. We're moving on. I am running for you. I am running for you. I am running for you. If it gets you. Super cute. Connor is allergic to most of the stuff, so he shouldn't even be touching it right now. But he still is. So we're testing out a sander on it right now, and I think the sand's gonna look nice. Just doing a very fine grit sandpaper and not too harshly on it. testing the bleach on the side right now Connor just did this whole side and I think he did the face as well and you can definitely see it lightening I'm leaving it on for an hour and then gonna wipe it off and then we're gonna see if we want another layer how many coats have you done four four coats of bleach so we're testing out the wax just on this strip right here just to see if it ends up drying how we want it because we don't want it to dry very yellow or Glossy. glossy we want that matte finish so we'll give it 15 minutes to dry and see what it looks like so this 
is after the wax is on it and it's a little more yellow than I wanted, but I think it'll work in this space. We're seeing if the hardware is gonna look good. It's like this, it's almost gold, but also silver. It picks up kind of both. So we're gonna put them just like all on here and see what we think. I just self tanned and my baby shower is tomorrow. So I'm prepping for that while Connor's been working on the dresser, hoping that we can get it ready to go so I can start organizing once we have all the stuff from the baby shower tomorrow. We're adding legs to it. Hopefully they'll look good. They might be a little too light. We'll see what happens when it's on. So we're gonna add four legs just to give it some height. And then I think we're gonna do one in the middle just for like some stability. Because now this is like too high for a diaper changing station. I think so. For you, yeah. Yeah, it might be. Shoot. Connor just cut these down to three inches because they were way too tall. So we're going to see what that looks like. Ooh, let's see. That's going to go on the bottom. That one's a messed up drawer. Lots of dings. Ding, da, ding, ding, da, ding, ding. It survived my childhood. Yeah, this is Connor's childhood dresser. Only five more to do. Connor is going to be replacing this light today. Don't mind the fingerprints on the ceiling. We still have to clean those from Connor installing, but here's the after. You have to like brush out the tassels too, and so I have to even out some of them on this side, but I love how this turned out. It comes in either two tier or three tier, and this is in the blush. Also comes in like a cream too. We just put this back together. Now we're tackling like drawers and organizing this. We pulled, I should have showed the before of this and I totally didn't. Oh, man, it is pouring. <laughs> this is still painted purple from like the previous owners. And I think this was the color they had before the color when we moved in here. But the purple works well, I think. So we pulled everything out of here. Saved this because this was tilted up. It had all my storage stuff on it from my like vlogging stuff and all my products. So instead, we're gonna use this to store baby stuff. Started these. Look at her little newborn clothing. So I just washed these recently. Got these little hangers, and then I think I shared these, but these little dividers. So Connor's going to grab all the diapers. We're starting to put these things. So those are toddler clothes that were gifted to us. And then we just have the boppy lounger up there. We'll probably put a bunch of stuff here. All the things. So we're just working on getting this all organized. Some of our stuff is gonna stay up in here. Like these are like picnic baskets. I have my wedding dress back here. And then in this I'm gonna try to reorganize and turn into maybe a nursing cart. I'm not sure yet. All right, here's what we got so far. Got all our diapers up here. We started hanging a few of the clothes. Diaper cake I haven't disassembled yet because it's too cute to disassemble. Thanks, Michelle. Yeah. And this is how, how it's going. Got a lot to do still. Here is the chair with the table. We have to get a new table because it came all like dinged up. So they're sending us a new one. That was just from Amazon. The poof is from Amazon. We filled it with a bunch of blankets. Got this pillow cover, and then the inside pillow is super comfy, you guys. And then Connor's gonna do this guy, and then these guys tonight. So Love Every sent us this block set in this really cute box. It has like a little magnetic lid. It has all of these blocks in here and they're like little wooden colorful blocks. And then they sent us one other thing so uh, we're gonna open that guy up right now. It is another play gym so this will probably go to one of the grandparents' houses. But it looks like it's for, it could be for like a little bit of an older child. It could also be for babies too but it has a little mat here that it came with and then has the um, bars up here with the little hanging things. I will link this one down below as well. this is 
is with her in my arms here. So we are gonna show you what the nursery finally looks like. It's finally done, so let's go. took us I mean we had most of it done before baby got here but we had just like a couple decor pieces like our lamp over here which I'll show in just a minute but she's here and it's ready we I actually use this room more than I thought I would oh yes so this was our guest room then when we took on those Airbnbs we ended up taking our guest room and moving it down there and it turned into a, like an office like a and I was eventually going to make it an office then we got pregnant and it turned into a nursery so our house got very small once we decided to do a nursery but this room is honestly perfect and it's probably like one of my favorite little cozy corners in the house and i spend a lot of time here now so connor's behind the camera do you love it love it yeah i love how it turned out we did keep a little area by the mirror um the fur rug there is actually a dog bed because this used to be kind of like where the dogs hung out and it still is when we're gone we kind of put them in this room and this is there their little sanctuary so they hang out in front of the mirror there and obviously the mirror won't be staying once she's large enough to be like leaning on things but this is what it's going to be like for now and we love this connor did such a good job on this guy i just love how all this turned out the only thing that we might change is i wanted a little bit of a bigger mirror here just because it doesn't quite fit other than that the room is perfect i love it and i love the light and all of that so yeah, if you guys enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Um, and don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along. We'll do lots more vlogs and things like that. We, this is our um, probably like second to last home renovation video. If you missed any, there will be a, at the end, there will be a playlist of all of our previous home renovation videos. So yeah, make sure you're following us. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified each time a new video goes live. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Got little Layla here. Nice sweet cheeks. Oh, a little smile.